Do you like ripoff vans? Do you like ripoffs of ripoffs? Well, have I got good news for you. What's good everyone on YouTube? It's me again back with another video and today we are looking at probably a brand I'm never going to ever look at again because I don't think they exist anymore. Uh, we're taking a look at a shoe bar shoe and shoe bar is this shoe brand that um, it says on their Instagram it's exclusive to Hype DC, which is an Australian based retailer and they seem to just make these sort of minimalist kind of like casual wear sneakers. And uh, what caught my eye about this shoe is that it has a very strong similarity to a shoe I've actually reviewed on the channel before, the Fear of God 101 um, ripoff Vans. And um, they recently went on sale on the website and they went on a really big sale. So I thought, why don't I pick it up, let you guys know what's going on and uh, let you know my opinions about this shoe. And before we go any further in the, ch in the video, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe down below and hit the bell notification so you never miss a video I upload. And uh, check out that 100th video super subscribers special. We're close to a thousand subs, so that giveaway is going to go live soon. So yeah, check out that video. But without further ado, today we'll be talking about the Shoebar Slim Sneaker in the Stone Suede colorway, as opposed to the Bone Suede, which was the Fear of God pair. But you know what? Let's get on with the video. And starting off with the box, this actually also kind of reminds me of the Fear of God 101 sneaker that I received. It's this matte black box and uh, on the top in gloss text we have shoe bar written and uh, there's nothing else on the sides except for another bit of shoe bar branding on the other side. Taking off the lid of the box we have this shoe bar branded paper and we actually get two layers of paper, one uh, horizontally and one vertically. And the shoes are stuffed with pretty standard packing paper, nothing too special going on here. And we move to the label, it reads Shoe Bar Slim Sneaker Stone Suede, or the 5S's if you want to think of it like that. So, the real low price on these. These retail for a price of like $150 or $160. Because I assume they weren't selling any of these at all, and I don't think Shoe Bar is in business anymore, uh, these went on clearance down to $19.99 dollary dues. I'll put the conversion here. And honestly, any shoe that's half decently made that is um, not exactly just a Kmart sneaker for 20 bucks is actually pretty decent. So I thought, yeah, yeah, why not? Just pick it up, see what's going on. And if you want the look, but don't want to pay the what $500 retail price on the Fear Got 101s, uh, this is a nice cheap alternative. But with that out of the way, let's get into the shoes. And here we are, the Shoe Bar Slim sneaker in the stone suede colorway. So, it's very obvious to me that uh, the design has taken heavy inspiration or bitten off a lot of the design cues from the Fear of God 101s, which was a very exaggerated Vans sort of um, era uh, silhouette. And the most notable thing was the exaggerated midsole, which this has here. But starting off with the upper, the upper is constructed mostly suede. And while they call it a uh, stone uh, suede color, uh, this really does look just like the bone pair of 101s that I've uh, reviewed on the channel before. But the suede itself is actually a fairly decent uh, quality. Again, for 20 bucks, can't really complain. And then on the heel, we've actually got this uh, leather tab that sort of covers the top part. And this is slightly different to the 101 pair that had like a pull tab and the leather on the bottom piece because you can't just buy absolutely everything. And then on the back heel at the bottom, as well as on the tongue, we've got this um, almost nylon uh, strap or strap on the front and just layer on the back. And this adds a little bit of breaky up to the upper itself. And um, included on the upper, we've got these uh, tonal laces that actually match really closely to the stone suede uh, upper uh, color itself. And then actually moving to the lining, we've actually got this uh, brown leather lining. And then we've got shoe bar printed in a glossy sort of foil silver text. And um, at least according to the label, the leather used on the inside is synthetic, but apparently the suede on the top is uh, real. So $20 suede sneaker, can't complain about that. And then that pretty much covers the upper. So moving down to the midsole, we've got this super exaggerated uh, thick midsole. And um, it's just this very flat sort of rubberish material and it comes up a little bit onto the toe box as well. And really, this is where I thought this looked so much like the 101, because in terms of like the proportion and shape of it, it really does look the same. Um, it basically is the 101, but you know, it doesn't say Fear of God on the back. 
And the rubber compound that they seem to use is also slightly less dense. It's a little more squishy and actually in turn makes it a little more comfortable, but I'll get into that a bit later. And then moving to the outsole, the outsole instead of using a full herringbone traction, still uses a wavy pattern that kind of mimics herringbone. And um, it's just a continuation of the midsole rubber down to the bottom, so uh, I'm not sure about durability because I haven't worn these outside yet, but there you go. So that pretty much covers the main uh, features of this particular shoe. In terms of sizing, just like how they've ripped off the 101's design, they've actually ripped off the 101's really poor fit. So these fit really large in a uh, in my true to size 9.5, so I actually opted down to go a half size down in these. So for this, this is a US 9, and they fit me much better. I could honestly see if you're only like a full size and you don't have availability to a half size, I could actually see someone possibly going a full size down in these. So my recommendation would be if you're a half size, definitely go a half size down. If you're a full size, you may need to try these on, but I could probably say you could go a full size down in these. So I'm typically a US 9.5 in most of my sneakers. I bought these in a US 9 and they fit me pretty well. And if you've been enjoying the video so far, uh, leave a like down below and let me know what you guys think of the shoe bar slim sneaker in the stone sway colorway. And uh, what's your opinion on like cheap alternatives to like more expensive silhouettes? I mean, they already bit off Vans, so really it's coming all the way full circle. So everyone's just biting off everyone. <laughs> now in terms of comfort, the rubber midsole that they've used on this uh, particular sneaker is slightly softer than uh, some other comparable um, looks. And uh, this rubber actually is surprisingly comfortable. The insole itself is fairly thick as well, so overall, in terms of underfoot comfort, this is actually surprisingly comfortable considering um, how sort of straight and flat this looks. The upper itself, um, it's mostly suede, so it's not really going to breathe, and it does have a bit of the, what I call the toe guillotine effect, where it sort of bends in a really sort of sharp angle on your toes and kind of creases a little bit unpleasantly. But aside from that, I would say the comfort on this shoe is to be expected, and um, yeah, there's just not much more to say about that. Now I'll get into the part of the video where I talk about my opinions of this shoe. And 100%, this is, the only reason I did buy this is because it really kind of looks like the Fear of God 101s. Um, as you saw on the channel, I had a pair, and I remember buying those used off someone for a fairly decent price. But at the end of the day, I really did think to myself, like, even though I only spent like $250 on them, it's still a $250 van, and I wasn't wearing it enough to justify keeping it around, so I sold that pair. And um, I sort of missed the look though, because I really did find the minimalist aesthetic of the shoe quite pleasant and quite easy to wear in just more casual outfits. So when I saw these on sale for $20, I thought to myself, I can finally get that look back down for a fraction of the price. Honestly, for $20, there's really not much you can complain about a shoe. Um, as long as it covers your feet and is fairly comfortable, um, you really can't say too much. And uh, I do think, um, honestly, as a minimalist look, this really is quite nice. I like the exaggerated midsole. The suede upper does give it a more elevated look. And um, just overall in this like tonal cream and sort of what they call stone suede, but it looks like a light bone suede to me. Um, it really is just a minimalist shoe that you can wear in pretty much any outfit. So for that reason, um, honestly for 20 bucks, can't complain. And if you're in Australia, I'm not sure if they're still on sale or still in stock, but uh, definitely check it out because I do think for 20 bucks there really isn't much you can complain about this shoe. But remember, you save 100% of the money you don't spend and if you don't need shoes, you don't need to buy them, but there you go. So that, um, that, uh, so with that, we've come to the end of another video. So I'd love to hear what you guys think of the shoe bar slim sneaker in the stone sway colorway. And, uh, actually, yeah, just as a discussion piece, what's your thoughts about, like, cheap alternatives that really sort of look like other silhouettes? And, like, where do you draw your line? But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. So like, comment, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section down below. And if you're into more sneakers, dance, vlogs, that sort of thing, consider subscribing to the channel or just do it. And uh, with that, I'll catch you guys in another video. Oh yeah, don't forget, on feet time. You like my Kubelay? Mmm, pink, sexy, sexy.